watched another video of Cutthroat Casters, and today, where I am. That's right, Taco Bell, baby. So on my last paperclip for, uh, fishing video, uh, somebody commented that they wanted to use Taco Bell as a bait, as lures to try and catch some fish. That's what we're gonna try to do today. It's a, uh, it's pretty cold out today. It's probably 15 degrees or so, and it's supposed to only get up to like 21, 22. Uh, so we'll see how active they are. See if they're if they're biting today. But uh, yeah, it today might be a little longer of a video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Taco Bell, can I get you? Hi. What do you think fish are gonna like? Okay, I think I'm ready. Could I do a number 12 combo? All right, what protein on that? Uh, can I do sausage, please? Sausage, you got it. Two cheesy toasted breakfast burritos, uh, bacon. That'll do it. Sounds good. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so I just ordered Taco Bell. I got a breakfast crunch wrap, because I'm hungry, and I might as well get some breakfast. And I got three burritos that I'm gonna use as lures or bait, so we'll see how that goes. Come on, Taco Bell. Not a sponsor. So thank you, YouTube. We just got the Taco Bell. Taco Bell is acquired. We just made it to the lake, and uh, it's a cold one. We got about a 15 mile an hour west to east wind. It's cold, it's 15 degrees with that 15 mile per hour wind, it's, it's freezing. We're gonna see if we can't catch some fish on some Taco Bell. I'll kinda gotta walk you guys through it here soon. But uh, yeah, we already got our stuff set up out there. I decided to grab some more stuff from the car. So we're gonna try to hop across this ice right here. It isn't exactly the safest thing in the world. Sure, Whew, we did it. The plan is we're gonna catch as many fish as we possibly can on Taco Bell. And I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it yet. You know, it's different when you're fishing for catfish or even bluegill, cause those suckers will eat about anything. Uh, but trout, trout are smart for fish, I guess. And it's not easy to get them to bite sometimes. The past couple days here, it's just been really cold. It's been a high pressure system here for a minute. We're gonna see what we can do. We got the Eskimo Quick Fish 2 set up. I got my holes drilled with my nice Strike Master electric auger. And uh, yeah, we're gonna pop up in here and I'll show you guys the setup right now. Home sweet home. I had to run back up to the car real quick, so I decided I'd put the heater on and warm it up in here for a bit. I got both our holes drilled, heat and camera platform. We got our poles, sandwich for lunch, and you got some Taco Bell. Alrighty, we are officially all set up here. I got everything organized. We are going to be fishing with some Taco Bell. And uh, since I went in the morning, I figured I'd grab myself some breakfast too. So after my crunch wrap I ate, which was absolutely phenomenal, not a sponsor, but it was really good. We got two breakfast burritos and I got bacon because I figure bacon might stick on the hook a little bit better than the processed sausage that they have. We got two breakfast burritos, four fishing poles, catch a fish and make it happen. We're gonna start easier and then work our way up. You've seen me use this lure, use this rod before. This is my uh, 42 inch medium heavy hot rod spinning combo that I have with the Daiwa Tatula 2500 series rod. Uh, 20 pound uh, braid. Uh, Seaguar braid, and then I have about three and a half, four foot, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader Seaguar. And I have that on a jig with a little Crappie Max, Bass Pro Shops brand, opaque snowflake color that they have. It's their white Minnow impersonation. We're gonna see what we can do here. What we're gonna start off with is a nice piece of uh, tortilla. We're just gonna put that on the end, like so. And that right there, gonna catch us some fish for sure. All right, so we're gonna drop it down and uh, see if we can get a mark. So we're all tied up. We're gonna drop this Taco Bell down there in 16 and a half feet of water today. I have a Hummingbird Helix Ice 55. It's one of the best flashers I've used. Personally, I like uh, Hummingbird a lot more than I like Vexlar, even though Vexlar is solid as well. But I find Hummingbird is just a little bit easier to use for functions on their machine. I already have a fish on me. I already have a fish on me down there. We're just gonna let that dead stick for now. I already had a mark come up, so that's really good news. We're gonna set up this other pole. For this one, a little bit bigger of a jig on this one. Yeah, so these are what I was using on that jig. So I'm gonna plus one of these out. But we got fish down there. I'm getting marks. Been here five minutes, and I already got three or four marks to come in. We're gonna grab one of these little minners. We're gonna grab our burrito that we're using. And uh, we're not gonna skimp. We're not gonna skimp on this one. I figure if we're gonna go for a Taco Bell fish, we're gonna go for a Taco Bell fish. 
So there you go. We're just gonna hook it right through there. <laughs> now that's what I call a breakfast for champions right there. We're gonna go ahead and drop this sucker down the hole, I guess. Something will be attracted to it, right? Fish like meat, they like bread. What's not to like about Taco Bell? Sounds pretty good dang good to me. If we catch a fish on this, like seriously, it's gonna be absolutely insane. I'm gonna lose my mind if we catch a fish on this lure. I mean, that is just absurd. All right, so we got both lures dropped down right now. Hopefully the next clip you guys see will be me catching a big old fish. Stay tuned and we're gonna catch some fish for you guys. Guys, I have a fish playing with the Taco Bell right now. Come back, come back, please. He's back. Let's go, let's go, let's go on the Taco Bell. No way, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> no way. On the Taco Bell, it is possible. Let's go. Come on now. Come on now. Fish on anything, baby. Fish on anything. Come on. Rainbow trout. Oh, look. Little piece of tortilla <laughs> fell off. Look at that. That right there is a rainbow trout caught on Taco Bell. Right there is a trout on Taco Bell. What? Heck yeah. We're gonna get a quick measurement on this guy. Tail, tip of the tail, touching there. And he's tail 15 inches, just over 15 inches. Caught on Taco Bell. See you, buddy. Look, there he goes. How cool is that? Let's freaking go. Let's go, dude. Awesome. We were able to catch a fish on the Taco Bell. Heck yeah. Man, it's been crazy slow recently. I mean, I've been sitting here all morning. Mark's coming through. They just didn't want no Taco Bell, but finally I was able to downsize the presentation. I was able to take off the little plastic on that jig, put on a, a piece of tortilla and a little piece of cheese and meat. And uh, man, we were able to make it happen. Whew. Hopefully we can get some more for you guys. That's absolutely awesome. Stay tuned for more. I got a fish on me. On the Taco Bell. No way. Number two on the Taco Bell. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. A brown trout, let's go. Oh my gosh. This fish literally just hate Taco Bell. The Taco Bell is killing it. Look at that. On the Taco Bell tortilla. <laughs> Look at that brown. It's just a little guy, but man, it feels good to be able to catch a fish on Taco Bell. Most people can't say that they've done that. That's probably, uh, you know, 13, 13 and a quarter inch brown. He's pretty, not too bad. But uh, we're gonna send him back down and see if we can get another one. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. Two fish on Taco Bell so far. Hope you're enjoying it. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you guys comment and tell me what you want me to uh, catch a fish on next. Stay tuned, we'll catch some more. I gotta put some more Taco Bell back on this lure here. He's coming up, he just shot up at it. He didn't want it. They're so finicky. I'm gonna give him the pistol grip. So what I'm doing here is I'm holding the rod to where it can bend super easily, and I'm playing the blank of the rod through the butt end of the rod. You can use one or two fingers, and you're just tapping it, and it's making the rod bounce over and over and over again pretty fast. And all that's doing, it's making the bait, if you're using a bait or a lure, with a good, like especially with that spike or the uh, little minnow impregnation I was using, it'll make it do this in the water super fast and the fish love it. It's a subtle presentation, but a lot of times it will trigger that instantly. So I have them on me now. I'm just giving it this juice right here. There we go. Oh, come on, he hit it. He hit it, what did I guys tell you? He hit it, he hit it while I was doing that. No way, I missed him so bad. Okay, yeah, he took my Taco Bell. He took my Taco Bell. I got a piece of tortilla, a piece of ground beef, <laughs> and a couple pieces of cheese that I tried to get on there, but probably won't stay. Dropped it down. This one just got smoked. There we go. There we go, on the Taco Bell. No, no way. No way that just happened. Are you kidding me? I just missed another one. Oh, he stripped me of my Taco Bell. He stripped me of my Taco Bell completely. <sighs> yeah, I just got him. I got him. I got him. On Taco Bell. On the Taco Bell. 
on the Taco Bell. It's definitely a little bigger. It's definitely a little bigger. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Oh my gosh. Let's go on the Taco Bell. On the Taco Bell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at how ugh, old piece of tortilla. It's all wet now. But I'll tell you what, that is a beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout. I'm gonna get this hook out for you guys. Look at that. That's a nice rainbow trout right there. Heck yeah. I was just pounding the spot and he came up and smoked it. Absolutely smoked it. We're gonna get a measurement on him. 16 and a quarter, not quite 16 and a half. But that right there is a beautiful trout, beautiful rainbow trout. It's a nice male. Here he goes, he even waved goodbye. Heck Three yeah. Trout so far on Taco Bell. So for those of you who said it wasn't possible or doubted me, well, there you go. There's proof that Taco Bell can catch fish. Uh, my goal was three, but I'm going to still hang around and see if I can't get some more for you guys. Man, I'm having an absolute blast out here. If you guys like this video, leave a like. Oh, missed them on the big rod, on the big Taco Bell rod. This one has a huge piece of Taco Bell on it. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. I pulled it out of his mouth. I pulled it out of his mouth. Come on. I know you're there. He just hit my other rod. He just hit my other rod. I think there's two of them down there now. He's on it. I'm going to drop this one down to the bottom. Get it in the mud, see if he'll eat it off the bottom. I think he ate it. Oh, I ripped it out of his mouth. Are you kidding me? He ate it right off the bottom. He ate it right off the bottom. He just saw it hit the bottom. He just saw it hit the bottom. Come on. You're right there, I know you're gonna eat it. Oh my gosh. Pulled it out of his freaking mouth. Welcome back to the channel where we miss fish. I mean, I just blew that one. That was felt like a decent fish too. I'm gonna reel this one up and check it real quick. Yep, took took my Taco Bell. So I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm just literally getting the whole part of the burrito here. I'm just taking my lure, getting it all up in there. I'm taking a little piece, throwing it on there, I'm dropping it down. Just got a bite on this other rod. He spun around on it, but he hasn't eaten it yet. He's going back down to the bottom. He's going, he's going back down. I think he just ate it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go! Woo! On Taco Bell, baby, let's go! Come on now! Come on now! Come on now, a little Taco Bell juice. There we go. That's what I call a Taco Bell rainbow, baby. Ring the bell. That's probably a, uh, I don't think I'm gonna measure him. He's a little too small, but I'd say that's a 14 inch, 13 and a half, 14 inch rainbow. Hell yeah, baby. I just got a mark on my screen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh man, he's fighting hard. Let's go, it's a nice size brown. Hell yeah, baby. There we go, there we go. Number five on Taco Bell. Come on, look at that. Look at that right there. That is fresh off of a breakfast burrito from Taco Bell, baby. There's the lure, and there's the fish. It's possible. Let's go. Right here. Mouth closed to the end. He's going to be 15 and a half inches. 15 and a half inch brown. Not too bad. Heck yeah. yeah. There you guys go. We were able to make it happen on Taco Bell. You know, this is uh, probably where I'm going to end up wrapping it up. It's about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, I got some good fish. We were able to make it happen on Taco Bell. And man, I can't believe that that was even possible. Um, thanks to the commenter that, that uh, suggested that. Uh, appreciate it. Leave a like if you guys like that video. Uh, and please comment, what do you want me to catch fish on next time? Um, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, it's a big help to the channel. I really appreciate it. 
I'm gonna pack all this stuff up. I'm gonna to kinda just make sure everything's in a straight order and uh, get out of here. And remember, keep gassing. Mm -hmm.